Hello and welcome back to Replay Flashbacks. Now, it's actually been a while since I did another uh, one of these. However, I've actually made them, uh, but they've never really gone out. They've never really turned out how I like them to. As in the games weren't very good, and the uh, my uh, commentary uh, it was even worse than it usually was. So this is probably going to go up. This game, this game was, uh, this is what, this, I can't find the right words for it. It was infuriating, I swear at the team for a bit there. I'm not especially brilliant in it, but I do make a bit of a difference here. Um, I'll, we'll see how it goes, uh, well you'll see how it goes, I know it ends already. Because I've, uh, I've done this, this is what I've done. I'm here in my T31 and the uh, assault game mode. This map is insane for assault. Usually, it's just impossible for the, the attackers to get anywhere because there are so many open planes between the objective and the uh, offensive team that defenders just sit up in these rocks and just watch us as we roll on by. Now I'm going to go up to this corner of the map and work any charges up this side. Like I'm saying, it's a it's an assault game, so these defenders shouldn't really be pushing us. However, they do get nice and close for some unknown reason. They could have easily just sat at the back and just waited for us to roll on. That leopard could have just found a nice little bush and uh, played nice and passive, and probably. Uh, would have lost this game. We did win. We do win this, and I'm gonna show you this because we won this. Uh, but you'll see what I mean. When it's, uh, it's a bit hard to describe. I get a direct impact from the grill there, and I am absolutely fine. It did almost no damage. I don't understand how that happened. It wasn't even a splash. It was a direct impact, but it, it hit my gun there and bounced up into the mantlet, the, the explosive force, and the, the mantlet just took it like a champ, so I didn't do very much. Which I'm pretty happy for, with. A rush shot, flank this M4AE2. Uh, I think it's the jumbo is what it's called. But it's not so jumbo now. Jumbo? Jumbo. Jumbo goes down. This is me playing the rocks now. I'm going to be hit a lot. Uh, I'm going to pick out, take a shot. A little bit of damage, reverse out. So that's, I get away with that scot free. Which I'm pretty happy with. I'll let the camera go back to my uh, player. And you'll see what I mean by uh, short lived. Yeah. Short lived success. There you go, there's the grill, and, oh, I was actually assuming there'd be more, that might be the next speed. here we go, and, I survived that one as well, getting even riskier, there we go, both the KV and the T-150, both hit me at the same time and knocked about a third of my HP away from me. So I'm reversing here, terrified of artillery. Uh, gonna try and make some uh, weird plays here. I was an amazing fluke shot. I hit the KV-1 and he bounces off me. But I'm reversing up here to, to offset artillery because Artillery's hit me twice this game, and I don't want it to hit me a third time. So I'm going to move forward here, and then I'll stop, and then I'll turn, and then I'll... I'm going to wiggle around here, and then I'm going to stop here. And uh, this is where I stop evading artillery and just try to aim on the uh, KV-2 down there. But he's behind a rock, and I can't hit him. Sooner or later, this Leopard's going to take a little bit more of a risk. But for now, the T-150 and that KV-1 down there are just stuck behind that rock. Still alive, still being very annoying. The 
There's the leopard. He's not up here just yet, but he'll show up. Artillery's targeting me. It hits the rock in front of me. Thank God. I think that was artillery, at least. It might not have been, admittedly. Squaring up a shot in that T-150. Uh, and he's backed off. Now, knowing the KV-1's down there, I'm going to put a round into the bush here. We'll also probably wait until the T-150 has a chance to roll forward into those bushes. Which I wouldn't be able to see. But I uh, put a shot down range. And I don't hit anything, sadly. Because you can see the dirt. It's a good way of telling whether or not you hit something that you can't see. By telling whether or not the dirt uh, sp splashes up behind the shell impact. That's obviously it's hit the ground. Artillery takes a shot. I'm using my third person camera at the moment. This is me controlling. And I'm also uh, typing. So that's probably what I was doing with that in a second there. I am swearing at the team because I have just noticed, literally just noticed that I think the KV-1, VK-3001H, and the T-3485 uh, have made all of zero meters from spawn. Now I get there's another offensive that they can make down there, but it's a valley. It's They shouldn't be down there. And this is me getting really unlucky. I was direct middle of that uh, of that shot there. Here's the leopard. He hits me, and I don't get to hit him for this uh, first little incident here. Oh nope. Apparently I hit him and he doesn't hit me. So that's that's my first kill. Uh, 900 damage done, which doesn't sound too impressive until you realize this gun does uh, maybe 200. Yep. 220 at its highest or one of its average rolls uh, so that's uh, a few shots on target then, so that's not too bad the grill somehow hits me over the rock but it only hits the gun mandolin once again and does almost nothing to me I'm trying to get a shot on this KV and I in fact I do see his outline but uh, I don't actually get a shot off on him but he does die so that's fine okay depends on 4H just dies instantaneously which is, well, what you'd want, really. Artillery targeting me, because there's nobody else on the map. At this point, I'm going to play with this little ridge line here, see if I can get a shot down there, and there's that T-150. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a fully aimed shot there, and that derps into the ground, uh, or the rock beside him. Give it another shot, shoot into that bush. Maybe I get lucky. Maybe the KV-1 will magically appear. But alas, dirt, nothing, nothing hit. At this point, I'm kind of getting frantic looking at the time. Uh, there's no time. If we started capping now, I don't think we'd actually get there uh, before the time ran out. So, it's kill the entire enemy team or nothing at this point. So, the alarm goes and the entire team is at this point charging the field and I join them and charge my flank uh, fire that down range but I unfortunately miss again I shoot kind of not because I, I kind of don't aim fully because I'm, I'm not too concerned whether or not I get the kill but I would like to kill so I do take a shot and I do kill that KV-1 that's two kills over a thousand done there's a Nassau in there He's about to get nailed by artillery. There he goes. He's almost dead in one shot. And I uh, I join in. Take that shot. Wolverine returns fire at me. And uh, it doesn't do anything. T-67 across the way there. Does fire. It does hit. And he penetrates. He's only a tier 5. And he was hitting my angled side, I think. Maybe even my angled front. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sad that he pened, uh, penetrated. But he goes down in a second here, yeah, so... The damage I took was avenged quite quite quickly. This is 40 seconds left, guys. I did say we won, so you'll, you, you can already tell that it's going to come down to the seconds. The moments. And I'm charging up this hill, very aware that we, we can't cap. There's two enemies left. Uh, and there's that Wolverine. I shoot. I do shoot that. 
and there's not very much space I could actually miss. That was in the center of my screen. And we trade. Eight seconds. Four. So, we get that win by five seconds. Five small seconds, and we win that game. So, for reference, if that Wolverine hit me, and I didn't hit him, and he kills me, if he survived for another two seconds, he might have gotten away with winning the game for his team. It would have been a coin flip whether or not that T-67 would have been able to spin around and hit that Wolverine. Uh, he was the closest person to the job, and he was just ramming the T-3485. So whether or not his reload and acquisition time uh, would have been able to take out that Wolverine would have been a, uh, a bit of a coin flip, I reckon. Now, the T-67 does fire pretty quickly, but... I traded, we won by seconds. We could have easily lost that game with one less man, one less shot. So that was on the on the razor's edge of losing that game. I didn't do too amazingly awards-wise or damage-wise or even uh, XP or anything. But I felt like sharing that because it was just seconds. Seconds. And that was... Honestly, good time playing that ridge line. So, thank you for watching. I enjoyed this game. I enjoyed uh, flashing back to this game. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.